hello friends welcome to h2 zone solution and production in our last tutorial we discuss how to create a sign up form and we already made a sign up form and when we click on sign up sorry it should be a sign up button change it change it with sign up button and also change the heading of this page as sign up form okay sign up form is ready in last tutorial we already discussed that how sign up values will insert into database and also this sign up form is linked by our dummy website and we can also click this sign up button and go to sign up page also now we will make a login page and link this button with our login page okay move on to login page just copy these two pages and paste here and name as sign in dot php page sign in underscore next page this page will refer to the home page also change it to index dot php so all pages will be in php extension okay i think login should be good name login underscore okay open the login dot php page first save this page cancel these pages open login.php page coding and just remove this script for confirm password matching and also remove this password confir confirm matching and enter login for submit button and also change heading of this page as login form and this form submit to login underscore next dot php page now open login underscore next page dot php ok this is the same page like login dot php so i am going to delete this page and rename is to sign up dot login underscore next page dot php ok open this page for time saving i already have password verification code i am just copy this code and paste here ok just change user value change it now our co code is ready in this code we just checking that is our username which received from login.php page is this exist in our user table or not this is just as testing select static from user where username is equal to if user is exist in our user table then it will get salt of this user and just hashing this salt with our entered password and after hashing it will make hash password so we can verify is our database password column and our hash password is same if same it's been password is correct so if we just redirect it to index.php which is our home page otherwise it will show that your username or, pa or password is incorrect i think everything looks good i hope it will run without any error okay let's test it just open home page refresh it and click on login button just change the heading of login page 
login form refresh this page and enter username in our case we have john as a username and password is also john so we are entering john and enter password as john click on login and just enter next bracket this bracket is for the cells if connection failed then it will show error otherwise it will run our code sorry guys it's not db it's con also change all db variables to con because it's require connections not database name it's also con for testing purpose we are commits this code and show that password is correct your username and password is correct also change your sign up dot next page code where we are using db it also has con not db save it again and cancel this page and save also this page and now we are testing whole site for sign up and login just go to home page and click on sign up button enter name like sunny and sunny and password is also sunny for confirm and click on sign up button now you can see that user inserted successfully without any warnings okay now we can also test that sun is inserted in database now again come to home page and click on login button now enter your username and password and click login button and now you can see that your username and password is correct now just redirect this page to home page which is index.php you can also give any name like home.php okay now refresh this page and you will see that it will redirect to home page now we will hide this sign up button when user is login then no need to sign up button and show welcome username for this purpose we will make session for session we will declare session underscore start function after that session and give name of your variable like i am going to use user underscore id is equal to result set and user underscore id and copy this line for username now open index.php code which is home page and go to menus options and just add new menu new menu option which is welcome guest and remove this anchor and save this page and run home page again you can see that welcome guest and one more thing that we will fetch this result and now we will use row, row insert a result set this result set will be input parameter for sql fetch session now copy this session variable and make one new condition if is set 
if username is set then show username else show guest also session start function now test this code just go to login now enter sunny sunny and login button now you can see that login user is displaying on top menu now we will make logout button for logout i already have a logout link just uncommit this code and make logout.php page log out dot php page in this page we will just copy this this code and put this code into php tag and close it tag and just empty this variables in logout session variable just clears now test this code refresh this page and click on sign out button now you can see that there is something issue in sign out it's sign out not log out okay change it to sign out sign out dot php okay go back refresh this page click on sign out button okay it's empty that's why guess not showing we will add new condition not empty if username is set and not empty then it will show username okay now refresh the page now you can see that welcome guest okay test again click on login button sunny and password is sunny click on login button now you can see sunny and when we'll click on logout and you can see that welcome guest now user is logout but this button is showing for this purpose i already have code for time saving i already made it copy this code and i am going to paste it in our ul code this code is just checking if username is not empty and set it means user is login so no need of sign up and no need of login button because user is login if user is log out then no need to show the sign out button because if user is login then show the log out button okay i already assigned these ids to our links you can see that for sign out it's sign out id lo for login login id for sign up sign up id okay now this code is using also session so it requires session starts so i am going to cut this code and i am going to place it on top instant top instance on top now i will test my code just to fetch the page now you can see that we are not login so that's why it's sign out is not showing we can only sign up 
or login now we are going to login password and login now you can see that only sign out button is showing sign up and login button is not showing when we click on sign out button when we will see login and sign up button that's all if you have any question you can ask in comment section goodbye